Well, I flew twice in space. Uh, first one was 1992. I was selected as the first Japanese uh, uh, science astronaut and uh, conducted uh, altogether 43 experiments proposed by uh, Japanese uh, scientists and the United States scientists as well. And my second mission I flew in 2000 uh, to uh, create a three-dimensional precise map of the world. Well, I remember when I was uh, 14 years old, the first human went up into space. His name is, of course, you know, Yuri Gagarin. I was very much excited and uh, uh, I saw what he said. Earth is blue and shining. That, you know, I was very much thrilled by what he said. What the meaning of, uh, you know, blue Earth seen from space? So I really wanted to see what he said from space. That's the first time I wanted to become an astronaut. Yes, I clearly remember, you know, uh, 1969, when the, uh, Neil Armstrong landed on the moon. At that time, I was a student of uh, university and uh, studied, and I wondered what should be for my future. Then he landed on the moon. I uh, watched uh, the news on TV, and I was very much inspired. New science and technology era will, would come. That, at that time, I wanted to become uh, just a government employee, but I, instead I became a scientist to uh, reveal mystery of the nature. And I was involved later on a nuclear fusion uh, project because at that time uh, shortage of energy was a big problem, not only our country but the whole world. Then I wanted to create an artificial, the sun. So I became a scientist. Well, you know, uh, space technology always uh, thought ahead of us because uh, we, when we challenge space like in you know, Apollo project, they created uh, solar panel, uh, fuel cell, and the new science and technology emerged. Now, whole world is now facing challenging environmental issue. But utilizing uh, invention, which was already created for space utilization, we can you know, apply that technology to the present world to solve many environmental issues. Well, when I was, you know, childhood, I was in, uh, encouraged by historical astronauts like Yuri Gagarin, and particularly when I met Neil Armstrong. I met him several times in NASA while I was training. He always encouraged me. And, uh, well, the final goal of space exploration is not just going into space, but to look back ourselves. So uh, when I uh, saw Earth from space, as every astronaut says, I also felt Earth is so beautiful, just like what Yuri Gagarin said. And that we have to keep that precious environment of Earth for the future. In that sense, um, since I went up in space and saw, uh, watched beauty of Earth, my mission is to show every 
people of the world what the final goal of science and technology. I believe science and technology uh, bring us to protect our environment, not for the purpose of exploration only, but to look back our environment because, you know, as a, uh, one of earthbound species, only human being had the capability to go up in space, but at the same time, the goal of human activity is to, I think, protect our Earth environment representing all life forms. So science and technology is a symbol to achieve that goal.